Fan Wars 2, we've got Spider Farmer versus Mars Hydro this time. What's in the box? John set this aside for me from Crapazon. We got it in a day ago. We're gonna get going on cutting this open in a little bit, but I wanted to thank you guys for all the comments on our last Fan Wars video. We were just listening to you guys and that's all we heard was Spider Farmer, Mars Hydro, which one's the best. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna rip this thing apart. I can't wait to see what's inside. And uh, we wanna give a special shout out to our favorite comment on the last video we did, which was by Flyboy Miner. Uh, his comment was, leave it to the potheads to improve the basic fan design. Go us. It's so true. You fucking crazy man. You sound insane. Do you realize that? You should be medicated. Fuck you, Brennan. All right, I'm back. I got my handy dandy Uline box cutter here. Let's take a look at what's inside here for the clip fans. Kind of curious to see which one is actually going to be the fan that I personally like more. So we got two almost identically wrapped boxes here. Uh, which one's which? All right, well, this one says Mars Hydro. Got a little green sticker there. And Spider Farmer. Orange sticker and some identifier. So let's open this up. Let's see what we got with the Spider Farmer. God, I'm so excited, John. Oh. So looking at these together, Looking at these boxes, the first thing that I kind of see is, is they're wrapped exactly the same. They're taped exactly the same with the beautiful Chinese tape. I don't really know how that shape gets so yellow, but it does. What's weird is, is I see the stickers and I know Spider Farmer is a uh, orange colored, orange colored company for a logo and Mars is green. I wonder if there's some factory collusion going on. Check this out. All right. God, it's like Christmas when we do this. We just spend money we shouldn't even be spending just to see what's going on. All right. Here's the spider. Get that close up. Let's take a look at what Mars Hydro is bringing to the table compared to spider. Okay, so here's the, the Mars Hydro. It's nice, nice print. You can definitely tell this was uh, marketed and made for retail sales for sure with the beautiful logo. Uh, the branding is just top rated for all the Mars Hydro fans that are such loyalists. At least Spider Farmer did this. I gotta hand it to him, that's pretty nice. That could be on a, a store floor, so. Uh, that's a win for Spider Farmer right out of the gate. All right, so we've got the Spider Farmer out first here. We just kind of took it out of the box and got it set up so you guys could get a little bit of a better visual uh, looking at it up close. I'm gonna break down just a couple of the features so you guys know what fan has each going on. The Spider Farmer we're looking at here comes with seven speeds adjustable. It has the 90 degree angle oscillation mode it doesn't have anything in between it's just on or off oscillation which is fine um, noise decibel at top speed is looking at 40 decibel it's a six inch blade and it is ip44 so it's rated for high humidity and like high temp grow environments uh, so let's turn it on for a minute here just to kind of see the functions um, and what we did notice guys we're not going to rip them apart just this moment yet because th off the back of these it looks like a click lock-in type shell housing and the only way that we can actually open these up is possibly by breaking them 
or uh, we believe there might be some screws behind the stickers that we're gonna peel off to open them up. So let's just turn this thing on and see, see what happens. Uh, it says that the power button, you just have to hold it down for three seconds and then it'll turn on. So two, three. All right, let's try that again. Let's just try a quick click. Maybe I read it wrong. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm just having a day. But anyways, uh, so power turns on. It's got the oscillation function, so you can turn that on or off just by clicking the button, which is which is pretty basic. Um, one thing we did notice about the design is the power cord, as you see, it does come off the back neck. So as it does oscillate, one of the things we've noticed about other designs is, is this weight, or if this power cord catches and causes drag off the back head, here we run into that problem where we can have an oscillation failure, gears binding, or something just wearing out over time. So if you do go with the Spider Farmer, just tend to this power cord. I will say it is a thicker power cord, so I give them props on uh, a thicker power cord all the way down the line. It does feel decent in that sense, and you do have a little uh, control port off the back, similar to what we saw in the AC Infinity UIS plug. So it looks like Spider Farmer up in their game and coming out with some uh, you know central control systems and doing their thing so all in all it's quiet it sounds good I, I do see like I said the power cord is one of my only concerns and uh, other than that it, it's 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 running we're gonna rip it apart though and we're gonna see what's inside of this one next and we're just gonna compare it to the Mars Hydro that we're gonna be getting to uh, in a moment here so we'll be right back uh, be sure to chime in on what you're thinking about this video along the way. Thanks. And here's the Mars Hydro new clip fan everybody's been talking about. So same thing, we've got it hooked up, taking a look at it. Very similar housing style as the Spider Farmer, but a little different. Um, the main thing that stands out, the first two things I looked at is, is A, this fan was lighter weight than any fan I lifted. Um, I did notice too the power cord. Take a look at how tiny this is. They really did you guys right on this one by giving you a USB plug with a USB power brick. And some people might be like, well, that's great. You know, if the power brick goes bad, I can just plug it in the wall or I can just plug it into a new power brick. But you guys really gotta ask yourself when you see things like this, when you see a USB plug going into a power brick, it says a couple things. A, we're trying to make it a little cheaper, but also, what about the water? If you have overspray or any water and this thing's sitting on a power strip, or it's on a wall and water hits in between here and works its way in, zippity doo dah is what I think. So. Not a fan of the whole cheap power cord, um, just doesn't do it for me. So we're gonna, you know, Put that aside, I'm gonna run the breakdown of this fan real quick and give you the specs on the good old Mars Hydro here. Same size blade, six inches. The one thing that kind of stood out, um, it does. they did say it's IP44 rated for high heat and high humidity, that's good. But they only give you three speeds. It's only three speeds selectable. So I'm surprised with Mars Hydro being as competitive as they always are on the market with other, you know, other brands. You would have thought they would have given you at least seven to 10 selectable speed ranges versus making you have to deal with just three. So digest that and think about it when you're making a, a fan purchase decision. Um, other than that, let's just kind of fire this thing up and see what it's got to give you guys a little demo. We're gonna power it up. There, there we go. As it should. Mm, let's raise up the speed. See what that top speed can do. Okay, well, the third speed is, I guess, what I would say is is more than enough airflow to get the job done in a grow tent. Um, 
between the three speeds though you might struggle to find the perfect speed that's the only thing i could say if you're really picky about perfect airflow is just three speeds not sure why mars hydro would you know drop that as an option when it's a 40 dollars fan just like the spider farmer and you know seven speeds versus three and I think the, the Spider Farmer has a better power cord, but it's off the back. So that's kind of what I'm seeing with both of these. And now we got to try and figure out how to get inside of them because they both have the same neck casing. They're both very similar, but just kind of a little different. So we're curious to see what's inside of here to point out the, the, the true designs so you guys can see the insides. Uh, we're going to rip these apart and you guys just keep watching and let us know what you're thinking. Okay, one quick snippet before we rip the fans open. I did want to say, Mars Hydro does only give you three fan speeds. So if you do sacrifice for this fan, they do give you a lot of stickers in place of the missing speeds that they didn't include. Okay guys, we got them open. They're still working. Thank goodness. We took about an hour to play around with them uh, while we were uh, going through each one. We noticed again, each fan company that we have evaluated uh, between the first video being AC Infinity and Vivo Sun, and this one being Spider Farmer and Mars Hydro. Uh, you guys can all kind of put to rest the whole knockoff thing. Put it to rest. Tinfoil hat theory out the window. They're all different. They, you know, same, same, but different but still same. So let's kind of dive into the Mars Hydro with what we saw and I'm gonna turn it on for you and we're gonna get up some close shots here so you can kind of like you're in it with us. It's pretty cool though. I, I love looking at the engineering behind these things on what each company's trying to do to, you know, have a good product, be profitable, but still jam in the cheap shit wherever they can. So get on in here. We're gonna kind of take a look at the Mars Hydro after we took it apart. This is what you see inside the Mars Hydro. All right, so the first thing I kind of want to point out is, is uh, some of these companies, they will shield their cables, some won't. So unshielded uh, as, a, as a total wrap. I mean, the, the cables themselves individually are shielded, but what, are we, what we're seeing on the Mars Hydro that's kind of interesting is, yeah, the first thing we noticed that we were kind of happy to see is they did what AC Infinity did. They dropped in a ball bearing neck. So you've got much less resistance on that oscillate function that can possibly run up to 24 hours a day nonstop. So when you think of continuous use, uh, a fixed neck ball bearing is great. And they have a DC five volt motor mounted to the top here, which is gearbox inside ran right into neck on the ball bearing support. Control board up top, pretty simple, kind of small. Um, and then the power button. So we're gonna fire this thing up just so you guys can kind of see uh, what we found. We, <laughs> guilty, uh, we're, we're guilty for kind of wrenching on these already to feel what the oscillate function is like. So I'm gonna fire this up. And you guys could take a close look at how this works. So what we're seeing on this one on the Mars is similar to what we saw on the original Cloud Ray S6 AC Infinity before they redesigned it with the Gen 2. We're seeing an interface board that is basically on a timed function that is just set to go back and forth and time out with basically just time based. There's no sensors to tell it when to go back and forth basically. So that's what we're seeing. The one thing that we did do with this is we were curious because how well does it work on the ball bearing if we start to give it resistance? And what we noticed is when you hold on to it, when there is pressure, what we're feeling is plastic gears on the inside, not metal gears. We're feeling plastic slip. So if the head is to sit and uh, be tight against a tent wall with long periods of resistance, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna make it or not. Um, if those gears do wear out from the plastic, just you know, uh, breaking apart over time, 
it, it may cause a problem. It may be a, a clicky clicky issue or just a no worky worky issue anymore. So that's what we're seeing with this. Um, it is pretty smooth. So if, if you were to choose Mars Hydro, just don't let it run into anything. And it, it seems like it's gonna get the job done. Still not a fan of the three speeds, but moving on, because we gotta get to the spider farmer next. We're gonna set that down. We're gonna have some nice summer fans, John, mounted all over this place for when it gets hot in here. I'm gonna love this. Okay, so moving on to the spider farmer. This is a little different. So if you look in there, we've got a external gearbox that is mounted to a DC motor inside of there. And their oscillate function when we fired it up, which I'll do for you in a moment, is a little different. We're, we're still kind of trying to figure this one out if it's just purely timer based or if there is something actually built into this one because when we do actually hold the head tight when it does attempt to oscillate, it feels like they designed some sort of like slip mechanism. Like if there is too much resistance, the gears are designed to slip somehow. Um, so we were, we were kind of intrigued by that. And let me fire it up and I'll just give you a little working example up close here. There we go. All right, so here we go. The one thing too that I kind of liked about the Spider Farmer is uh, the oscillate function does feel solid. I, you know, we play with a lot of electronics and sometimes when you just run it and you, you, you just kind of like feel the internals working, this one feels really geared low. Like it's geared down and it's solid. And we're, again, we're still trying to figure out if there's sensors inside of here. I don't believe there is, but when we hold the head, it slips effortlessly. It's, it's geared down really low where it oscillates nicely, but if you grab the head, it's, it literally does not overwork. So the strange part about that is, is if it is just on like a timed board, what they've done here is they created two spots where there is stop points in the gears where if the head was to be bumped by the operator and knocked off, it'll actually just go in one direction till it hits the plastic stop point. And then it's like the motor kind of just resets itself time-wise. So you'll only have one stop point that grinds out a little bit. And then it's like, it just resets because of the slip gear function they built in here. So that's kind of cool. Something different that we have not seen in the other designs, but we're going to keep running these after this and uh, see what happens. But let us know your thoughts on everything you've seen here. We're, we're This is probably going to be our last fan wars, so you guys be sure to let us know what you think about the rankings of these four fans that we did you know we hit we hit vivo sun we hit spider farmer we hit ac infinity and we hit mars hydro so be sure to let us know which you still feel is your favorite design um if i had to personally rank them again i just look at the designs i'm not trying to sell a product three of these fans i had to order in yes i do sell ac infinity but Here's how I would rank them. As far as like the complete package, I would say in lowest to highest, it would definitely be Vivo Sun, Mars Hydro, Spider Farmer, and then the AC Infinity Gen 2 design. What? We are so serious. Guys. You're fucking high. Are you out of your mind? If I had to throw in the AC Infinity Gen 1 design, it would probably be right below Vivo Sun and Mars Hydro as one of the bottom contenders. Um, but as far as current designs and current releases, again, Vivo Sun, Mars Hydro, Spider Farmer, and our winner would have to be the AC Infinity Gen 2, best bang for buck. Everything they packed into that fan is pretty awesome. So I hope you did like this video. Um, this is probably gonna be our last fan wars. Um, so if you, please, please share your comments in the section below. 
We do appreciate it if you always subscribe or like our videos and be sure to hit that bell notification for constant updates on our new video drops. This is GardenSupplyGuys.com. Thank you for tuning in as always and we love you guys. Hey, I wanna give you a quick little snippet on our next video drop before John stops rolling. We've got a new product coming in called Cure Lids. No one's ever seen it before. I got the first 10 units being shipped to us from Tino, the creator. He was the creator of Burp Lids. This is his newest drop. It's got a lot of uses. We can't wait to show it to you.